brand tech here where tech is made simple so we have a new version of the firefox web browser for desktop version 103 which started rolling out a short while ago today in my region on the 26th of july 2022 now we have a couple of new improvements uh, to mention uh, in this video and just to go through these as quickly as possible and in no particular order first of all if you are using firefox um, on mac os um, they've improved the responsiveness of the browser uh, during periods of high cpu loads also um, the pdf forms has received an improvement where the required fields are now highlighted and that's according to mozilla if they say you have forgot something and then um, the browser has improved performance on high refresh rate monitors and that's monitors with a refresh rate of 120 hertz and more and then um, you can now change the uh, subtitles font size directly from the picture in picture window that's the pip window and um, if we just demonstrate that quickly um, when those subtitles are plain if you just head to this option now you can change the font size from small medium and large so i think that's a nice accessibility feature that's rolled out in this latest release and then you can also toggle those subtitles on and off um, from that menu as well and then um, uh, just sticking with uh, the picture in picture window uh, the subtitles are also now available at Funimation, Dailymotion, Tubi, Hotstar and Sony Live. So those are some improvements now to the picture in picture window in version 103. And then um, buttons in the tabs toolbar can now be reached with tab shift and tab and arrow keys. Now there's quite a lot going on with this new improvement. But basically if you hold the shift and tab you can go through those toolbar and toolbar options uh, using your shift and tab key and then additionally using arrow keys now um as mentioned um there are quite a few new shortcuts available and uh, um, i will leave the article from the release notes in the description where you can just go um view some additional details if that would be of interest to you and then um windows make text bigger another accessibility feature uh, the, that setting now affects all the uh, user interface and content pages rather than only applying to system font sizes so those that's two uh, new accessibility features that have rolled out in version 103 and then also um during um installation of firefox on windows 10 and 11 the browser now can be pinned to the taskbar and Mozilla says this just means that the browser can be launched quicker after installing. So that's on both Windows 10 and 11 after the installation of the browser. Now just to um, go through some of the fixes, there are three main fixes to mention. And, and when copying text from a form, non-breaking spaces are now preserved. And then they've also fixed WebGL performance issues on NVIDIA um, binary drivers, and that's on Linux. So if you are using the browser on Linux, um, that's WebGL performance now has been fixed um, regarding issues on NVIDIA uh, binary drivers. And then the third and final fix worth mentioning is that um, there was an issue uh, in which Firefox startup was significantly slowed down uh, by the processing of web content local storage. And that was if you were using a platter hard drive, which is basically a mechanical hard drive and not an SSD. And then there's uh, one change, um, uh, the configuration option to allow SHA1 sig signatures has now been removed and that is no longer supported. And then if we want to see if we have this latest release, as always, we just head to the menu in the top right, go to help, click on about Firefox, and um, this will update the browser um, and force the update in the browser and that latest version as mentioned is 103.0 and then we can just click on what's new uh, which will take us uh, to the release notes and i have gone through the key highlights and changes and then as always we have those um, all important uh, various security fixes which roll out with every major version upgrade and just to look at these very quickly just to do a quick summary here, um, there are eight um, vulnerabilities that have been um, addressed with version 103. Most of those are moderate. And then we get a low, two lows, and then we have one high impact vulnerability, which is your second highest after critical. And that basically uh, 
it says here that some of these bugs showed evidence of memory corruption and we presume that with enough effort some of these could have been exploited to run arbitrary code so um, that high impact vulnerability has been addressed with this latest security update and then just to mention another um, security improvement um, when you actually uh, first uh, launch the browser now um, after the uh, update you will also see a new tab window open up um, which will say total cuckoo protection is enabled by default and I have posted on that previously so I will leave a link to that video in the description so over and above those um, eight vulnerabilities being addressed one being a high impact and we also have now total cookie protection enabled by default in version 103 so that's more or less what's new in the latest stable release of firefox for desktop so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one